Are we rolling? Oh my god, okay. Hey up faggots, welcome back to my channel! Oh my god! So today's video is not gonna be an ew, which I'm sure you're wondering, like it's Friday, where's ew? But I wanted to do like honestly more of a somber video today, it's kind of like a story time. Um, so that's the real reason why I wanted to just do like a naturally glam look and just like wearing my little hoodie because I want to be comfortable while I talk about this. This is a story time that is really something like that I don't even want to talk about. Like even talking about it, like I'm getting like goosebumps. I don't want to talk about it, but I know I have to talk about it. Um, so I have been in quite a few relationships in my time and I even married one of them. You know, which is funny because I'm like so young and you'd think, oh my God, you weren't married? What the hell? I just want to preface the story and we'll just go from the beginning, we'll say the marriage and we'll say why this is like the, the, the story time from hell, why this isn't the moment. You know, I was young, dumb, I just finished school, um, life was like not the best for me and I met this guy and you know, I met him when I was like 17 and we hit it off right away. You know, we really did. He was like always on my arm. I just honestly... I don't think love at first sight exists, but when I was this age, like to me, this was love at first sight. Like I'd never met anyone like this before. What are we gonna call him? So I'm gonna call him Gavin the Great. And he was just everything I ever wanted. And so we got married uh, very quickly. I was 18 getting married, which, you know, I'd wanted to get married with him for a whole year. And by the time I was 18, I was like, I, I still wanted to go through with it. I still wanted to marry him. So I did. And it was wonderful at first, it really was, it was like the relationship that I'd always ever wanted, you know, he treated me so, I'm a so I don't speak correctly, but he treated me so well, he just always made me feel so beautiful, so wanted, so loved, and, you know, for the first three years, it was wonderful, and it really started to get a little bit sour, you know, I was doing things in my career that he didn't like, and all of a sudden, you know, he was getting jealous, really jealous of me, to be honest. And I was like, what's going on? Like, this isn't you. Like, th this just isn't you, you know. <sighs> you know, at first, the jealousy would just be him being really angry, calling me ugly, calling me a mess, just kind of validating everything that my upbringing had taught me. And it got to the point where I just couldn't take it anymore, you know, and... I filed. I'm sorry. Um, so I filed and he was not having any of it. He refused to sign. He got so angry at me. And it got to the point where my family were chiming in and they were like, you know, Daniel wants to divorce you. Let him divorce you. Like, what are you doing, you creep? And he just wasn't having any of it. And it got into like this huge blowout. He stabbed my mother in the face. Watching my mother's lifeless body just fall in front of me because of him, because of something that he did, was like so painful to me. And then my dad was, he went crazy, you know, he's just seen his wife get stabbed. I'm sorry, it was. So he like jumps in to defend her, and then he stabs him too. So now my parents are laying on the floor in front of me dead, and then my brother, bless his soul, like calls the police. But it's too late because by the time the police get there, my brother's dead as well. He stabbed him up the ass and it got to the point where it was like, I didn't even know what to do. And he ran away and tried to frame it on me. Luckily, we had like nest cameras, not spawn. And, you know, they were able to find the footage and they saw that we were, you know, it was him. And this is a really emotional, you know, topic for me. So this is like two years ago, you know, so I am kind of over it. But honestly, at the time, it was so hurtful and it was so painful. So yeah, so that story time was the time that my husband killed my whole family. I hope you guys like this video. You know, it's just me being real, being truthful, being honest with you. It's a very true story. It's very truthful at what happened. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this story time. There'll be many more. I have like so many people tell story times and I've like had a more dramatic life than any of them. I guarantee it. So yeah, so... Please stay safe. Don't marry anyone called Gavin the Great. You know, it's just not worth it. So yeah, like this video if you liked it. Comment if you're a nasty. And subscribe if you just like want to see me talk shit, tell the truth, do makeup videos. Maybe I'll even start, I don't know, plucking my eyes out. 
who knows? Stay safe, stay sexy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.